found a video yesterday, a speech that I gave in Seattle, Washington for the International Society for Technology and Education. It was 2003, and I have to admit I got a chuckle out of the datedness of some of the things that I was saying. For instance, how many of you own a telephone that looks kind of like that, that plugs into a wall? How many of you own a phone like that? How many of you own a telephone that you can carry around in your pocket? Now raise your hand if you've given up that phone in place of this phone. My cell phone is web-enabled. How many of you have web-enabled cell phones? This is so cool. I've never done it before. <laughs> and, I, and I don't even know why, how, but this is so cool that I'm carrying the World Wide Web around in my pocket. But now the next morning, I find myself a bit outraged here in 2020. You see, people are telling me that their grandchildren hate being schooled at home during the pandemic, having to watch their teachers teach through their computer screens and their tablets all day long. And I have to ask myself, why haven't we gotten better at this? In my time as an educator, I worked with teachers who helped their students learn science and social studies by collaborating with other students in other parts of the world, as far away as Australia and Peru. And all of that thanks to an innovative educator and technologist by the name of Al Rogers. I've known teachers who helped their students learn deep mathematics by learning to program computers thanks to education leaders like Gary Staber. And all of that was in the 1980s. I've worked with education officials with our State Department of Public Instruction, Elsie Brumbach and Margaret Bingham, who led communities across the state in wiring their schools for internet, parents and neighbors actually running the wires. That was in the 1990s. I've known a state governor, now Senator Angus King, who set up a network, a local area network in his office for demonstrations to convince state legislators to fund laptop computers for every middle school student and teacher in Maine. His Commissioner of Education, Susan Gendron, said, we want our students to be among the most tech savvy in the country. But by tech savvy, we mean their ability to use computer tools for innovation, creation, and problem solving. That was 2002. I have the sense that there are schools and teachers out there who have had enough access to technology and experience that their students are doing just fine because they're doing interesting things with their devices, exploring, experimenting, discovering, and learning. One librarian from Austin, Texas told me that her teachers and students were doing well because they've been integrating computers into their workflow for years. What I'm hearing around here disappoints me. The students hate their lessons, that they aren't learning anything, sitting at their devices and being taught to. And my neighbor's daughter has to go to her father's automotive repair shop for her lessons. Now, I'm not saying that there isn't a ton of knowledge and skill that she could gain by watching her father work with customers and fix their cars. But she's there because he has Wi-Fi at his workplace. And we still don't have high-speed internet in our neighborhood. And that's shameful. Some of the schemes that students have invented in order to not participate in Zoom classes have impressed me. But using their devices as a window on the teacher's desk is not the only or the best way to use learning technology. It's a window on the world. It should be used to learn innovation, creativity, and problem solving. It should be used the same way that we use our digital devices to learn what we need to know to do what we need or want to do. Students should be using their personal learning tools to find the empowering answers to interesting questions and to collect the evidence that, those, that, that proves that those answers are true. That this country, inventors of the personal computer and the internet, the strongest economy in the world, has gotten no further than this, disappoints me to the core.